welcome to today's video. Today we're doing a night ride, but first we're doing a special interview, which you're not going to see yet, with Matt Faulkner. Famous for coming on the podium in TCR and a bunch of other very long distance events. Birdman. Birdman. They made a movie about him. Uh, they did. I didn't see it. It's called Birdman. I know, I know it was. Um, who was in it? Not Kevin Spacey. The other guy, Batman guy. The Batman guy. Yeah. The baddie. What's his name? Birdman. <laughs> you getting a present for Matt? Yeah, I am, yeah. What are you going to get? Mm. Small chocolate bunny. <laughs> no. Egg mayonnaise sandwich, obviously. This shop is so weird. That's the box. <laughs> it's such a fake place. I need a snack, all right? I knew you'd be in this bit. This is where they keep the bit, yeah. Hello! Hello. Good to see you, man. What are you doing? It's been a long time. I'll sit there. Where the cushions were. I should have. How well, everybody's heard about the bird. Slightly to your left. Right, I mean. You're Oprah. I'm Oprah. Yeah. They're lying. He's Lance. <laughs> Diff different kind of drugs, all we're talking about. Can you, uh, uh, we're going to do this interview and I can't put it in my vlog. Nah. So, mm. where's it going to be? Um, on the internet, probably on the Instagram, on our, on our YouTube. You haven't decided YouTube? yet, have you? <laughs> yeah. be available. ITV. IGTV. IG, yeah, maybe. Ah. <laughs> Basically, somewhere on the Jam channels in a couple of days. We want Matt Falconer. Hi. Thank you for coming down. You're welcome. Do you want to, do you want to ask him any questions for the Francis K vlog? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what was your favourite pair of bib shorts? Well, I only had one pair of bib shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's grim. They now, they now have a big hole in the side. Do they? Oh, um, yes. Oh, crashed. shit. Yeah. Um, and they're now on display. Mm. Jiro. <laughs> Were you literally just the one kit the entire time? The, yeah. The, yeah, but we um, I mean, I didn't have any room for anything more. Mm. In fact, I still took too much stuff. Um, Do you reckon? Yeah, I, I took a bivy kit, which I used once. But I, I mean, I had an inflatable mattress. So I didn't inflate it. I just put it on the floor and lie down mm. and had maybe two hours. The one night that I bivied. Right. Every, every other night was in hotels. It's lovely. It's luxury. Yeah. But if you send in hotels, yeah. you can get away with let even less stuff, surely. Le yeah, less. Because they, they have Best. they have toothbrushes if Be you need it and Best things like quality that. Of sleep. Never, I, I didn't brush my teeth for ten days. Wow, really? <laughs> we just discussed this. We were this. talking about yeah. this yesterday, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. I was going to say just don't brush teeth. But, but I thought it's quite a nice mental yeah. refresh to like, f f like if you're in a low moment, brush my teeth, feel better for two minutes. Yeah, but I would never think of a time of day which would be appropriate to <laughs> <Yeah>. my teeth <laughs> while you're riding. I don't know. We, on the aero bars, one arm. How many liters of Coca Cola did you drink? Because to not brush your teeth, that's going to take some mental work to not get your. your... I don't know. I had a lot of Coke. I, had, I was mixing that with Sprite and Fanta. Because well, <laughs> um, you can only have so much Coke. It's sure, too, sure, sure, sure. Kind of, you need the, the kind of the fruity. So you're not avoiding caffeine while you're riding at all. Uh, so in in Albania, it was basically it was the middle of the night on halfway on that final 800 kilometer stretch. I was stopping off for double espressos in these Albanian cafes. It's like Italy. Like, mm. I love it. Espresso bars. Good um, coffee. It was all right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't terrible, but um, I had two cans of Red Bull um, that night and kind of early in the morning, about 5 a.m., it's still dark and I could feel my heart like going crazy. Like, why did you have that Red Bull? <laughs> you know, and, and the espressos as well I'd had, it was like, oh my God. And yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. And yeah. I, I'd never have... Red Bull. I never. Yeah. You know, I have coffee, a lot of coffee, um, but I don't normally take caffeine supplements like that. Now, a little birdie tells me you're talking about employing some coaching advice going into next season. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. You're good man. But now I'm going to look around. I mean, I need to have a goal first before I get a coach. And sure. Otherwise, it would just be. Yeah. I mean, it can be yeah, useful, whatever. Um, but yeah. Does that mean you're going to dabble a bit more at some of the shorter stuff, or is this is this in mind for bigger, bigger, grander goals? Or? I think the coach is really just to get better, um, more quality training mm -hmm. in my program. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I do quite well at training you know, mm. on my own, but maybe if I had better quality, I'd have more time for sure. other stuff and, and improve faster, or who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, mm. But just to improve you, make it more efficient. Yeah, yes. yeah. There's um, a number of kind of packs of dogs that will kind of start chasing you. Mm. If you jump off your bike and then sort of like say, what are you doing? As yeah. soon as you're not a moving cyclist anymore, they're like, whoa. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's oh, a human. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a human. And then you sort of like, and then you're like, uh oh, I don't know, hang on a minute. I wasn't so sure about that. <laughs> jump back on your bike again, they'll start barking and chasing you. Oh really? You. Yeah. 
Because I suppose, in my mind, I think of chasing dog, like, just go, like, just put in a hard effort and go faster. But if you're sat on the side of a hill or you're knackered or it's dark or whatever. Eight days in. Yeah. You're on a hill. Yeah. It's very hard to do a, an interval session. Um, <laughs> you do do it, but you also... Um, Should we go to Rafa? Let's go yeah. to Rafa. Yeah. I remember coming up to... Yeah, very good. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, Chris is attacking me, and you're dressed like a man. I'm not even sure what you're dressed like. A what? Strong man. Oh. So we're here so late. They didn't even serve coffee, so they just do uh, this this. bottled sure, sure. brown sweet coffee. Correct, sir. Just hanging out outside of the toilet. Yeah, because we need to go to the toilet. We really need to wee. Yeah. Don't you as well? Yeah, I'll get in the queue. What part of what part of the wheel is broken when this bearings, happens? Bearings, bearings, bearings. Bearings need replacing. Shop find bearings. You seen this? Good advertising. I shoot humans. Instagram. <laughs> Quite a shiny bit of London. You know your stuff, Chris. I brought you to the shiny centre where um, you could get your shiny Charizards. You can get your. Oh, is that where they all come? This is where all the Charizards come from. <laughs> the biggest in this. It's <laughs> where they make Pokemon cards, mate. What? What are the Pokemon in there? Yeah. Which floor do they do the good ones on? The top, top, top floor, top floor, top floor. Hansky! Where did you get those, mate? They're horrible. No, they're, they're actually really nice. Uh, they're like, are they? <laughs> they look like gloves from the future where you, those allow you to scale walls. I reckon, <laughs> I reckon George will have discovered <laughs> the that. The gherkins here. Francis, Go and get the best Pokemon cards. That bit of building. Huh? That bit of building. I'm trying it out. With the Hansky. They like them, I like them. I hope so, Hansky. They're awesome, mate. Careful, George, that man looks like a mugger. Careful. Uh, there's a lot of powder on that, dude. This mug <laughs> is. This is pre talc with all the talc in the world. I think specialised are part time talc and powder smugglers and part time inner tube makers. Ah, so today's ride, uh, we're doing half the time spent eating pizza, half the time spent actually riding. So we're going to end up. 50-50 ratio. Fat. 50-50 ratio. Yeah, 50-50, yeah. Half the time in the fat oh. burning zone, half the time... The fat eating zone. <laughs> you gonna eat that? Huh? You gonna eat that? I was thinking about eating this, I'm so hungry, yeah. So where's the next pizza stop? Uh, home Slice. Where's that? It's about 74 miles away. Is it? Yeah. I mean, London is at... Wrong, wrong, wrong bus, wrong bus, metre. 74 metres away. You know what I'm going to do this winter? Right. Well, I'm going to ride 108 kilometres every day for 108 days. Yeah, mate, go for it. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> uh, I can't quite get through, there seems to be a force yeah, field or something. Everything some sort. is some kind of wall. Oh, isn't there? Window. George, you're better than this. Don't run the slices, get a couple of pizzas. <laughs> Thin people are really cold. We are really cold. Which kind of counts as a thin person. <laughs> Yo, ironically, they're the people who don't want donuts. It's almost as if that's why they're thin. And cold. Idiots. Yes, please. Oh, this is beautiful. Is it nice? Yeah. Do you like oh, it? Do you know where we are? Where are we? This is the, globe. This is the, the ITV jungle, uh, TV studio. So if oh, you yeah. are in the UK and you watch oh, Channel 3, they film it in there, and the view they get from those glass windows looks out there. Pretty good view. It's not bad, is it? 107. We're near Shakespeare as well, aren't we? Shakespeare is just down here. The globe is just down there. And Millennium Bridge, which is the bridge that gets turned into a snake in Harry Potter. We might be in the background the of an ITV news report right now. Just, just flashing. flashing. George's teenage dirt bag girl with a BMX, BMX, rad BMX girl. Gloves. This video hasn't made much sense. Thank no. you. Boom. Oh.